My name is Nick Park, and I've been doing parkour and freerunning for six years. I uh, started out because my friend showed me this video of David Bell, the guy who started and created parkour. It was him jumping from like roof to roof and getting chased by like gang members and stuff. And he was like vaulting and like smashing through glass and jumping from building to building. I was like, that is so cool. So I just went out and started walking on top of fences and stuff until uh, eventually it turned into me really striving to push myself physically and mentally to be able to overcome obstacles and just become a better person all around really. Because once you, uh, you know, once you beat your fears, you can really beat anything. And, you know, I'm scared of heights, but I still climb buildings and do flips and all that wild jazz. So I think it helps me just all around be a better person. That's why I do it. I'm Luke Burris. I've been doing parkour and running for six years. I got into it. I saw a friend of mine vaulting over some picnic tables at school. And I asked him about it, and he's like, I'm doing parkour. And then he started showing me a few things, and then we started hanging out after school and doing stuff, and I haven't stopped doing it since then. Parkour is um, venting for me. It helps me with a lot of uh, stress and anxiety that I have. It's something I can always go to if I'm down, and it's helped me the past six years of my life. I feel free when I'm doing it, and when I think of something, uh, like a flow to do, or some type of movement uh, I come up with in my head, once I do that movement, I just feel like at peace and at one with myself really trying to get the mind and body to be one. Well, what continues to drive me is uh, just really like the gym and the community that's about to really blossom here in Evansville. Cause this gym gives everybody who wants to try parkour, everybody who wants to do parkour, just a real nice sanctuary to train, friendly environment. You know, there's nothing but positivity in the gym. Here at Hardcore Ninja Unlimited, we teach parkour and free running, and it's sectioned off into two different levels, and there's level one and level two. So level one basically covers like vaults and wall runs and jumping and plyos, and then level two is more style, like flips and uh, spins and all that, just to really let yourself open yourself up to all the creativity. It's really awesome because when I was coming up free running and doing parkour, I didn't have a gym to go to. I had to learn on the concrete or like the grass or the like hardwood picnic tables. I also didn't have a coach and those coaches here that can help the kids one-on-one -on -one and go through step-by-step -step progressions into learning the basic fundamentals of parkour and free running. So it's really safe. The feedback from the students and adults has been nothing but straight positivity, which is great, especially for a new business. Uh, I've really never had anybody come and sign up and not come back at least a second time. So that says something that, you know, this gym has a good environment. And I always have like parents coming up to me saying, you were awesome with my kid. They love it, they can't wait to come back. And then like, always just giving kids high fives and positive reinforcement. Even when they mess up, just saying something positive about what they did will help them to go back and try it again and really keep them striving for more. Parkour is for everyone. And I say that it's for everyone because when you're young and you're at a playground, you're doing parkour. Like you're climbing up things, you're running up the walls, jumping off of stuff constantly. And I think we all do parkour and we all kind of have done parkour in the past. We just stop at a certain age because we don't play anymore. And I'm like, I guess, an overgrown child because I still play. Never say you can't do it because anybody can do anything.